Today, I am in Chessening, Michigan to explore what once was a booming festival bringing the whole town together all as one. This is Urban Explorer 260 and please enjoy the video. Sitting on the banks of the Shiawassee River sits the once thriving Chessening River Day Stadium. This area includes a large seating area, concessions, a cement stage, and what used to sit a giant riverboat. It all started in 1937 when the Chessening Riverboat Festival was officially founded. The main attraction was a massive riverboat known as the Shiawassee Queen. Measuring in at 70 feet long and 22 feet wide, this boat would take festival goers up and down the Shiawassee River. The festival itself would be host to many musical artists and bands over the years, such as Sugarland, The Beach Boys, and Hender, just to name a few. Fast forward to 2013, the Chessening Showboat Festival went bankrupt. With the boat sitting vacant, it fell into the hands of a local Chessening lawyer named Andrew Whitaker. Whitaker planned to rent out the old boat for weddings and venues, but his plans never came to fruition. What remains today is an eerie reminder of what used to be, as the boat is gone and the stadium is left to decay. What is up everyone, all explorers? This is Urban Explorer 260, and today I am in Chessening, Michigan, exploring an old arena slash stadium that used to house an old river boat back in the day. So this is what used to be the back part of it, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure these were uh, some of the old concession stands and the restrooms are right over here these brown buildings and i'm on the back side right now which is fenced in but there's an ent entrance near the front but here we are all right guys we are in the stadium section of this right now giant seating area with the stage in the front and back in the day guys i'm not sure exactly when this closed down but there was, used to be a giant riverboat that sat here, and they would take people around the river for tours and whatnot. You can see, guys, how all the trees and the nature have already overgrown everything. Looks to be the very top balcony, guys, which there's a ladder over there I'm going to try to scale. Hopefully I don't fall off. This is a super unique spot, though, guys. I'm going to go on stage soon. And I didn't even realize this, guys, that over here, they had a first aid, first aid station. I wonder if it's unlocked. No. Restrooms are over here. See them over there, guys. Just imagine, back in the day, the whole city, all the surrounding areas would come together, sit in these bleachers and come for the riverboat and just have a good time, guys. The unique thing about abandon is that nature takes over every time. Could be sitting for a year, could be sitting for 30 years. Nature always takes over. One thing I noticed also is they still have some Christmas decorations up. Big old star. Which is pretty unique, guys. What is up, explorers? I made it to the top of the arena. Check out this view. Look at that. You have the old seating sections, 6.30, right 
or no, it says G30. G31 all the way up. Here's the front of the stage. It has a really neat old blue pattern. And these waves are kind of representing the river that's right behind there, guys. I don't know if you can see very good or not. And right here, guys, right in front of this is where they used to keep the old riverboat. You can see right this, right here guys, this old, these old rods were welded together to make the shape of the riverboat, which I think is pretty cool. All right, well, this wraps up this location, everyone. Hope you guys liked it. I'm off to the murder house in the middle of the country. So long, Chensoning River Days.